It's a massive spillage that portends serious danger. The material that is involved is highly inflammable. This is super petrol flowing freely after the midnight train accident. This train carrying petrol to the Vivo Energy Depot in Nairobi had just left Mombasa when its wagons capsized, spilling out the contents. There was five containers. Each container was con uh, consisted of at least approximately 50,000 litres. So we are looking at 250,000 litres that flipped over. The capacity of the wagon that is leaking is 15,000 litres. We've lost from that wagon around 3,000 litres. Being a ticking time bomb, police immediately took control of the site and blocked traffic. With memories of the Sachangon fire disaster in which more than 130 people died still fresh, authorities moved swiftly. Among the measures that we took, one was to divert all movement of vehicles between Makande and Changamu roundabout. As you see, there's no movement. And to ease traffic build up on the busy Mombasa Nairobi Highway, motorists and pedestrians are being urged to use the Mavweni route through Mtwapa. An alternative route through the port has also been opened to ensure the SGR and airport travelers are not inconvenienced. What's happening now is we are decanting the wagons that are affected removing the product into these trucks you see here so that then we can start the operation of writing the train. Authorities giving an assurance that the spillage was controlled before the fuel could find its way into the Indian Ocean nearby. Selvichabet Citizen TV.